Well, part of the uh, thing you got to look at is what are their liabilities. You have short-term assets, but they also have hundreds of billions of short-term liabilities. And uh, when they let those get out of uh, balance a couple of years ago, they were not uh, well prepared for the crisis. So there's a little bit of caution there. Uh, having gone through a storm, you're uh, going to be a little uh, more reluctant to uh, leave the house. And, uh, but I think the key thing is if you have an environment that is encouraging and welcoming of risk-taking and investing, you will see it happen. Those resources will be put to work. And one of the exciting things, I think, about the House Republican uh, budget proposal is that it would do precisely that, simplify the code. We now have the worst business taxes in the world. It would address that. Get rid of Obamacare so you don't crush small businesses with uh, regulations and nationalize health care. Uh, reform entitlements in a very positive way does not affect anyone who gets Medicare now. It is as kicks in in 10 years from now, so there's plenty of time to transition. So uh, it, it, it created an environment where I think you will see that delayed growth. Okay. Well, it's worked everywhere it's been tried because it does uh, simplify the collection. It does enable people to focus on real things, and not one country that's done it has uh, given it up. So uh, even when governments have changed, even when you get more leftist governments in, they have all kept the flat tax. So uh, I think uh, the experience has been very positive, and I think that will be a major issue in 2012. The Republicans have proposed tax simplification. I think we can go much further, and I think we'll get the mandate to do that in 2012. Well, the price of gold in terms of dollars has gone up because uh, people have, are losing faith in the dollar. And the Federal Reserve has made it quite clear it wants to cheapen the dollar because it thinks it helps the economy, uh, which, of course, raises the question, if that's true, why not legalize counterfeiting? You know, printing money is so good. Okay, let everyone have a hand at it. Then the job would get done. But uh, so uh, in terms of gold, I think uh, you should have it in your portfolio as an insurance policy maybe 5%, most 7%. And, uh, but if you want to use gold as an investment vehicle, be very careful, especially if you're using leverage, because those things can turn very quickly uh, in any commodity. Just in 2008, we saw oil surge to $147 a barrel. In a matter of months, it plunged to 33 then went up to $80, $90 a barrel. Boy, you can, you know, people think, oh, I can get rich that volatility. You can wipe that very quickly. So take care. Well, we'll create jobs this year, not as many as we should, but two and a half, three million. Still leaves us short of where we were in uh, 2007. And uh, what is uh, hurtful is that uh, incomes are not keeping pace with the rise in the cost of fuel and the costs of food. So uh, people feel under pressure even if they have a job. And that will be another headwind for the economy. Thank you, Federal Reserve. Not. <laughs>